We got we got lover like me CL. See how starting to grow on me. And she good. She mean good. Remember the last time you called me Jalen? Can't remember the last time you called me that name. You always said that I would be the main thing. And now you're gonna switch lanes. Caught you. Oh my god, I don't know why, but this song and the way she's singing it feels so nostalgic. I don't know why. It sounds like something that we've like grown up with. And I, I wonder if she did that intentionally. Call me Jalen. Can't remember the last time you called me that name. You always said that I would be the main thing. And now you're gonna switch lanes. Caught you out there, honey. You're so, so funny. You come back running, running. Yeah, you miss my loving. You miss my money. I'll tell you something, something. I just gotta let you know if you're gonna let Oh my god, you know what that reminds me of? You know Brainiac from Superman? Mm -mm. So Brainiac from Superman, he's like this robot that's like, it's it's probably Superman's smartest villain. Yeah. Like he's really smart. That's why it's called Brainiac, obviously. So like he's connected. He's like, a, like I don't know. If, I think he's old machine. I don't know. Old machine, part machine or part alien, part machine and alien maybe. But anyway, so like he's like connected to like this. It's like a, a main hub, some network. Mm. And that's what this reminds me of. And I remember the weekend doing something similar, right? Like when we, we said it was like a Matrix reference, no, which it definitely thing. could be. Yeah. It's it's that presumption that we're, and we are, like we're all connected to like this main central hub, right? Mm -hmm. And that hub could be like consciousness or some people may refer to it as like a God or a universe, but we're all connected to this one thing. And, um, and she's connected to it, right? And that's why she has like this hair that's, or she's Tied the source that. and there's all these mm. things connected to her. Yeah, true, yeah. Because it's herself and then it's like her hair. And if you think about it, like our hairs are kind of like coils, right? Like antennas. Yeah. Right, yeah. Yeah, yeah you miss my love and you miss my money. I'll tell you something, something. I just gotta let you know. If you're gonna let me go, you will never ever find another lover like me. No lover like me. You will never ever find another. And I love the multiple screens reference, right? Because the multi the multiple screens reference is essentially like you're being you're being watched, right? And that's why like you're you're on these multiple screens. Kind of reminds me of um, the Truman Show, mm -hmm. right? Like he's the center of attention. It's like it's like his world, but essentially like he's just the entertainment for everybody else that lives outside of that. And that's what I think this scene is and it's why i think artists use that reference a lot where sometimes like multiple screens almost like um the nsa kind of trying to get me back on a low low baby let me tell you it's a no no i think that you should go home cut you out there honey you're so so funny you come back running running yeah you miss gonna let me go you will never ever find another lover like me no lover like me you will never ever find another
one for my bad bitch. Booty want a good life. Cherry lemonade. Suck us up every day. By Jelly Medicaid. Me and my dad said, I'm nay. Peggy, me and Peg, nigga, I'm in charge. Now you keep you better, no, they got this other hump. And I don't know, now she try to make your mind a junk. My heart take my shit, pour it up. No, you miss your only chance. By going, she my son. Oh my god, I love that when she, the minute um, she like cuts her hair and she disconnects. Mm. And I love that the song can be interpreted in so many different ways. Like at first, it sounded like a relationship, um, like a romantic relationship. But knowing a little bit about like her, like even like what we just saw about her career, like it has to be that too. Because that line where she says, um, "You miss my money." Like, typically, I feel like it's, like, career-based when you're talking about money. Kind of like she was the cash cow. Yeah. It was so interesting, like, when she um, chops her hair. And then she can finally kind of be liberated through, like, the different hairstyles. There's moments when, like, her hair is kind of chopped. And then there's also moments when, like, it's wavy, tied up. So hair is a really... Um, good symbol kind of portraying whether you're free or not like typically like when your hair is like tied and braided it shows that you're not free mm, that's a good point yeah yeah it makes me think of like the scenes where like people's hair change right mm -hmm. which indicates like the transformation of the character yeah you know yeah 